What should foreigners never do in Japan? We're going to find out. Obviously, Japan has quite a famous and unique culture on the world stage. So how can a foreign foreigner, it doesn't even just say like a tourist, how can they come in and respect that culture and adapt to it? We're about to find out. If you guys enjoy, make sure to subscribe, like the video. You can check out our travel vlog channel. We'll be going to Japan and following these rules when we go there on our channel. Link in the description below. What if we break the rules? Then we get samurai'd. Oh, Sudoku or whatever. Yeah. Like. <laughs> we'll just get decapitated. Oh. All right, let's hope we follow the rules. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to guess the first thing they're going to say is loud. Yes, uh, especially like on the metro or something like that. On the trains. So everyone in Japan is just like, the only thing that was ever loud was. <laughs> yeah, they slurp slurping down the soba noodles. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. So today I'm going to interview Japanese people. Things foreigners should never do in Japan. Okay, let's find out today. On my channel, I interview Japanese people and foreigners in Japan. So it's the best channel for anyone who wants to come to Japan without traveling or living. You can also learn Japanese here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And on my Instagram, I show my daily life in Tokyo and see information about Japan. So if you haven't followed yet, please follow it too. Okay, oh my gosh, there's a lot of stories. Yeah, my God. してはいけないこととか気をつけた方がいいことってあります<笑> あの、日本人と接する時に気をつけた方がいいことってありますかあの、接し方とか、あの、振る舞いとかにおいて。ああ、どうだろう。なんか片言でもいいので、最初もし声かけてくるときは、下手くそでもいいので、日本語の方が安
えっと、電車の中じゃなくて道端とかどうですか普通の通りとかで外でマスクしてない人についてはどう思いますかは、まあ、外だとなんか今、まあ、別になんていうか夏とかしなくてもいいって国でもなってるんで、まあ、外だとあんまり思わないかもしれないですけど、まあ、なんか密集してたら飲食店でバイトしてるんですけど、あのー、入り口を通らないで。ずっともう自分でこう席に着いちゃう人とかたまにいて外国の方だとなんか並ぶっていうのがあんまりその海外の文化だとないのかなって思うのでそこはちょっとなんか感じがあります。Those people are from because Americans typically would wait. Yeah, that's what the culture is in America. The Europeans. But, yeah, Europeans. Typically, I think yeah, sit down first. I don't even. Know. I don't know because we always wait. Yeah. So we don't know. And then by the time we wait, someone will just point at a table. Yeah. And then I would assume that that means you were supposed to just find it ourselves. We were supposed to just find it ourselves. I don't know. 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 I don't also, though, there are some Japanese people that were really trying to get into those trains in front of us. I don't know. 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 I do あのいきなり音楽が鳴ったりするとびっくりすることとかあるんで。イヤホンしろやつ。イヤホンを。えっと気をつけた方がいいこととか、日本でしてはいけないことってありますか。うん。日本人ってやっぱりシャイですから、そのあまりガーッと来られるとやはりあの恐怖感を持ったりするので、まああのゆったり優しく。あの話しかけてしつこく聞かないとかそういうことが必要かなと思いますけどねなるほどニューヨークに住んでたんですよねそうですね六年間オッケーだけどニューヨークで食べたこととか very New York え、もうあけに日本ではしてダメなこととかってありましたあの鉄道であの郊外から通勤してたんですけど新聞を読み終わったら、えー床に捨てて行っちゃうんですよ、アメリカ人って。そうなんですか。そういうのはちょっと抵抗ありましたね。<笑>日本は絶対ない。ないですね。昔はあったと思いますけど。ああ Before we continue interviews, this video is a d Tokyo t r e e You can check it out if you want. Oh, 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 that's an interesting thing too, because we are also from the suburbs、uh, in the U.S. and、uh, I would say that's less, much more of a city thing in the U.S. is to Where you would see somebody throw trash on the ground. I、yeah. don't think that really happens in the suburbs unless it's some like、uh, annoying hick teenagers that are like,、eh, I don't、and、need to follow the rules. A lot of times you'll see like if it's like someone driving and they throw it out their window, then someone will pick it up and throw it back at them. Yeah. So <laughs> it's America. The thing with, I guess this isn't just America. Obviously, it's foreigners. So we don't know who that pertains to. It could pertain to. Americans, Europeans, Africans, people from other parts of Asia. So, this is such a broad scope to be, say, foreigners. It just so happens that in countries such as the Philippines, where we are now, foreigners means Americans. Yeah. And even like in Korea, typically foreigners means Americans. And Japan obviously has much more international tourism than those ones. But even then, There's a lot of Americans that go to Japan. I would have to assume they, and I'd have to assume that it's not just Americans, it's just white people. Yeah, yeah. So they probably don't even. And then they would just assume that well, all the white people are Americans. Yeah, or, yeah, from the West. A lot of people just categorize it as the West. Well, <laughs> typically. なんかまあ外国人ってやっぱり電車とか公共公共の交通手段。We predicted that one. あのなかなかその。<laughs> that is something that is very interesting. We've noticed tourists don't know how to read the room. Like, well, like they stick out so much. What about vloggers?、Uh, possibly the least able to read the room possible. <laughs> they don't read the room, they make the room. 
日本人と接するときに外国人が気をつけた方がいいこととかありますか振る舞いとか話し方とかそういう違いとかそうです多分日本なんか人ってやっぱり、うん、自分のパーソナルスペースってあるじゃないですか距離感日本人って多分それがすごい広いと思うんですよね That's an American thing too. 広くというところなのでやっぱりそれをこうなんかずけずけと入っていっちゃったりするとやっぱりいけないかなっていうのはありますよね確かにハグしないですもんねしないですしそうですねあとはなんか初めての人にこうなんかそういうハイファイブとかもしないですし、うん、そうするとなんか慣れ慣れしいよねって書いて逆にでも外国の方ってそれをフレンドリーに受け,止め受け止めてもらおうと思ってやってるけど逆になんかそういうふうに受け止めて逆,逆効果なのですごい損かなと思います、ね、確かに気をつけた方がいいこととか The American version of a personal space is just like not being too close to someone like if you're waiting in line or like just like walking too close to them when you walk by but typically like shaking hands is how you'd greet someone That being said too I feel like Europeans value personal space more than Americans Yeah Like, especially Nordic countries, because、yeah. Americans just will go up and talk to people. They don't know. I mean, that happens in other countries too, but that is very interesting. It's different value, different types of personal space. Yeah. Like in Europe, it's typically just like talking, whereas in the US, it's like physical distance. I feel like if you don't know someone. I'm trying to think of in Europe if like people will like, because he just mentioned like high fiving and stuff. Yeah. Like that wouldn't happen. In- One thing we've noticed in the Philippines though is like if you're waiting in line, Someone will be inches from touching you behind you. They're, may, they're like right there. Philippines. And that's typically other Southeast Asian countries、India. as well. And South Asia, especially in South Asia again. Ah, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Which is very simple. They just read the room. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. めっちゃサウナ行くんですけど、まあ、これ外国人に限らずなんですけど、特にあの守ってほしいのは水風呂入る前に汗流してほしいです。確かにそれは確かに多分あれですよね。銭湯とか温泉行ってもあの先にシャワー浴びたりとかっていうのが大事ですよね。外国人に気をつけてほしいマナーだったりとかしてはいけないことって何かありますか？これしていけないっていう感覚ってあのなんていうの？その人とその人の間で生じることだからだから。一般的にどうのかじゃない、oh, very well articulated, そ,その人は自分と今どういう関係なんだろうかみたいなのはちょっと考えた方がいいかもしれないねだからなんていうか日本人だから例えばみんなが親切だとかみんながあのシャイだとかっていうわけではなくて外国人だからっていうことですごくなんていうの例えば握手したりとかハグしたりとかっていうのがみんなが OK じゃないと思うんですよね。人によるんですね、うん、だからなんだろう自分とその人との距離感をちゃんと確認しないと、yeah, それは別に国とか。So, personal space is not, I guess, compared to Japan, there is no personal space in the US if you handshake with people you just meet. Yeah. That is interesting. 生まれとかのことじゃなくて、その人と私との間っていうことかなって思います。That's interesting. Okay, thank you for watching. How was it? How was it? Interesting. I hope this video will help you when you come to Japan. But of course,、um, as long as you respect Japanese culture and the people, I don't think there will be problem at all, even if you make mistakes. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching so far. If you like this video, click like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, sir. Interesting video. I mean, basically, a summary of this is just read the room. It's pretty easy to look at what other people are doing and be like, oh, I'm a, I'm a guest here. I should be doing what they're doing. It just happens that a lot of、uh, probably white people that they're referring to just don't know how to travel that well. No, no.、Uh, typically, unfortunately for Japan,、uh, it's a lot of first time destinations for people.、Oh, it's、yeah. their first time going out of the country. So it is understandable if they don't know. Like, if they're very lost and they just can't even like think, blah, blah, blah. But that makes it unfortunate for Japan being a first time destination that they have to deal with all that. <laughs>、uh, yeah, that's interesting. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.